It is a holiday cottage helping to put smiles on local foster youth, but they need your help. 23 ABC's Veronica Costa is live at the Board of Supervisors with some details on how they're making this year's cottage even more special. Good morning, Veronica. Mike, Alex, November 27th, that is the date to remember. That's the day the official holiday cottage on Rosedale Highway and Callaway Drive opens up. But today's also special. We have Heidi here with us to tell us why today's special and why this location at the Board of Supervisors office is special. Well, today we're celebrating the 30th anniversary of the holiday cottage, and that is so special. Uh, we'll have a proclamation at 9 a.m. at the Board of Supervisors. And then today we're giving the community an opportunity to access wishes a little earlier early here at the Board of Supervisors at 11 a.m. So it's a very special day. We've never done this before. Now give all of those folks out there a quick rundown of what the Holiday Cottage is and what granting those wishes for children in the foster care system means. So really what we do is we have to send the letters out very early so it's never too early for Christmas. Then we process those wishes and we put them on the board behind us and the community can come and select a wish. It has the child's first name, their age, and their first and second wish that they would like to receive and the community then goes out, purchases that wish, returns it to the cottage within three days, unwrapped, and then we can deliver it in time for the holidays. Now, Mike, Alex, Heidi mentioned how it might be a little early. You can see we're wearing our Christmas hats, and it might seem a little early. Thanksgiving hasn't even passed yet, but like she said, it takes a lot to grant all of these wishes for these children in the foster care system. Mike, Alex, that's all we have for you now. I'm going to go ahead and send it back to you in the studio. Thank you.